Mamma mia! Ooh. Hi guys, so today we're making udang masak lemak nanas or in English, pineapple prawn curry. It's gonna be sweet, rich, savory, spicy. It's gonna be perfect. Let's go. To make this dish, what we'll need is an array of aromatics, okay? Just to briefly run it through you guys, we've got lemongrass, some garlic, shallots, uh, this is bird's eye chili. Now, uh, this is blachan or shrimp paste. Now, if you can't find blachan wherever you might be, don't worry about it. Uh, you can replace it with dried shrimps if that's more accessible. Okay, this is turmeric, fresh turmeric. Very, very important. Um, if you don't grow turmeric where you're at, you can replace it with turmeric powder. It's not going to be the same, but uh, in terms of flavor and color, but uh, if that's the best you can find, you go for that. Okay, candle nuts. All right, this is to give it that sort of uh, nutty, rich uh, consistency. This is galangal, or some of you might call it blue ginger. Love, love, love this. This is lime leaves. Yeah, love the fragrance it gives to a rich dish. All right, so these are the items that we're going to be blending. Garlic in, shallots. Bird's eye chili. Now, this really depends on how spicy you want it. Uh, if you don't like it too spicy, add a little less. Uh, if you love spicy food like me, go for it. Now, uh, buah keras, or it's known as buah keras in Malaysia. In English, it's called candle nut. Now, blue ginger, we've got to cut, or galangal, because galangal is uh, very, very hard. Get it in there. Turmeric, nice. Okay, lemongrass. Here I've got dried chilies that I've removed the seeds and also boiled it for a good 15 minutes. Okay, add a little bit of water and your belachan. Belachan goes in. All right, nice. Now this is nice and blended. Heat up your wok, add in some oil, add this paste into the oil. The smell that it produces is just amazing. Now, what's important here is that we fry this paste until it's sort of nice and um, fragrant, until the oil starts to split. Once all that liquid that we added in has evaporated and the fibers in there starts to fry up, that's when it gets really nice and fragrant. Then we'll add in the pineapples. All right, so now that you see that it's sort of darkened in color and the fibers are starting to crisp up, now we're gonna add in the pineapples. And we're gonna fry these pineapples to sort of caramelize the natural sugars inside the pineapple and also to make it sort of more fragrant. All right, now for those of you who are wondering uh, the origins of this dish, this is actually a Peranakan dish, yeah? The udang masak lemak nanas. And if you're wondering what Peranakan cuisine is or the history behind Peranakan, you can click the link up above. You can check out the Ponte video where I give you a short history lesson of the Peranakan culture. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a little bit of water. Now this is going to braise the pineapple yeah, and also allow the pineapple to sort of give the liquid that the pineapple juiciness, the sweetness of the pineapple. Nice. All right, braise it for about five minutes or so and then we add in the other ingredients. Now, here I've got lemongrass. Um, I've blended two stalks of lemongrass and there's just an additional stock that I'm adding in after bruising it just for a bit more flavor. Now that the pineapples are nice and soft, the prawn goes in, together with coconut milk. Give this a good mixer on, look at that. Beautiful, look at the nice, rich, yellow color. Yeah, if you're using turmeric powder, you're not gonna get a color that's sort of as rich as this. Yeah, so that's why I always prefer to use fresh turmeric. Season, salt, and a touch of sugar. Give it a stir, and all we're doing now is just waiting for the prawns to cook, and then we're ready to serve. Yeah, now, lime leaf. The thing about lime leaf, it's really, really fragrant, this nice, fresh aroma. But uh, if you're not careful and you cook it too long, you're gonna lose all the aroma. So I always like to put it at the end. What I'm doing, I'm just removing the stem in the middle and we're just gonna use the leaf. Same like mint leaf or basil or any aromatic leaves, what I like to do is just give it a little squish and this sort of releases the natural oils in the lime leaf perfuming this dish. 
beautiful. Look at that nice, shiny gleam on top of the gravy. All right, there we go, and this is done. You want to be careful not to overcook the prawns, yeah? It'll be a waste if you have such a beautiful curry, but prawns that are overcooked. Now, into a bowl. Some leftover garnishes, so just a little bit of spring onion and some coriander on the top. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my prawns and pineapple curry. All right, now it's time to taste. Taste the gravy. You know, you think of curry as something that is, you know, in your face, sort of robust and, and bold, right? But this has a very sort of mild curry flavor. And it's a lot creamier than your regular curry because there's a lot more coconut milk in here. Now let's try it with the prawns. Mm. It's a very Asian thing to do to suck the prawns' heads. That's where the roe is. It's not good if you're someone with high cholesterol, but you know, once in a while, I think it's all right. All right, there we go. Coat it in that curry. Mm. Dig up a pineapple. My lord, is it that combination of flavor? You've got the succulent prawns, the gravy that's mild, rich, sort of fruity. Then you bite into that pineapple that's sweet, a little bit tangy. Such a perfect combination. My only regret is with this dish that I've made today is that I couldn't find bigger prawns to put in. Man, if only I had bigger prawns, this dish would have been perfect. Now this is truly finger freaking licking good. If you've enjoyed this episode, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends, all right? I hope you try this dish for your family. If you have your own version of this udang masak lemak nanas, do let me know how you guys make it in your comments below because every family sort of have a different uh, take on this udang masak lemak nanas. Um, if not, if you're from some place that you've never seen this before, I hope you give it a try. I hope you manage to find all the ingredients you need to give this dish a try. If not, I'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Ciao. Stay safe. Um, eat good!